welcome to the word for today may the peace of our lord jesus christ be with you monday thursday is celebrated on thursday april 14 2022 the name is taken from a latin anthem sung in roman catholic churches on that day mandatum novum do vobis a new commandment i give to you this gospel narrative on the eucharistic celebration can be categorized into six sections one for knowledge of jesus john takes care to assert jesus knowledge of and control over the events of his death he also has the knowledge that the moment has arrived jesus knew that is our had come to depart from this world and go to the father having loved his own who were in the world he loved them to the end similarly the foot washing is prefaced by jesus knowledge that the father had given all things into his hand and that he had come knowing all this he chooses to demonstrate is love for his disciples in a dramatic way by taking the role of a slave and washing their feet jesus adds and you are clean though not all of you and the narrator explains for he knew who was to betray him for this reason he said not all of you are clean John 13 verse 11 Jesus knew that Peter will deny him to save his own skin Second the great scandals are stated by John in this narrative Jesus act of service recalls what Mary of Bethany had done for Jesus just a few days earlier washing his feet with expensive perfume and drying them with her hair jesus interprets her extravagant act of love and service as an anointing for his burial john 12th chapter 1 to 7 In washing his disciples' feet, Jesus simply uses water and a towel, yet it is extravagant. The first one scandal is that the one who comes from God and is going to God should take on the menial task of a slave. The second one is when Jesus will lay down his life crucified on a Roman cross the form of execution reserved for rebels and slaves Peter gives voice to the scandal of Jesus actions Lord are you going to wash my feet When Jesus says that Peter will understand later what he is doing Peter objects even more strongly you will never wash my feet we are reminded Peter subjections in Mark's gospel when Jesus speaks of his impending suffering and death Mark 8 verse 32 Here as in Mark Jesus corrects Peter Unless I wash you you are no share with me to which Peter responds Lord not my feet only but also my hands and my head John 13 chapter 6 to 9 Third do as I have done to you mandatu Jesus then tells his disciples that they are to serve one another 
in the same way that he has served them if i your lord and teacher have washed your feet you also ought to wash one another's feet for i have set you an example that you should do as i have done to you john 13:14 to 15 verse this specific example parallels the broader new commandment that jesus has given just as i have loved you you also should love one another jesus example suggests that loving as he has loved means taking the role of a servant caring for the needs of others without expecting anything in return his example suggests that that it is to do this not only really for those who treat us well but even for those who disappoint and hurt and betray us this is not a commandment to feel affection but a commandment to act in a loving way as we are washed by jesus in god's deep and generous love our hearts are stretched to love more completely fully unwaveringly it is possible because of the one who loves us fully and completely the one who loves us to the end even to the cross and grave and back fourth breaking of the bread saint paul writes for i received from the lord what i also handed on to you that the lord jesus on the night when he was betrayed took bread and when he had given thanks he broke it and said this is my body which is broken for you do this in remembrance of me in the same way also he took the cup after supper saying this cup is the new covenant in my blood do this as often as you drink it in remembrance of me 1 corinthians 11th chapter 23rd to 25th verse mark our earliest gospel written between 75 to 80 ad has the following scene of jesus last supper and as they were eating he took bread and after blessing it he broke it and gave it to them and said take this is my body and he took a cup and when he had given thanks he gave it to them and they all drank of it and he said to them this is my blood of the covenant which is poured out for many mark 14 22 to 24 saint john doesn't mention about the last supper why this omission is it because of the distortion of the holy meal by corinthian community probably yes jesus gave great emphasis on self giving and was willing to wash another christian's dirty feet disputes over the eucharist wouldn't occur if christians chose to imitate the washing of the feet fifth institution of the eucharist and priesthood jesus institutes the lord's supper 
and we celebrate the priesthood priests in our church share in the priesthood of jesus so jesus is the high priest and that is delegated out to leaders of our community and we are part of the priesthood of believers and we are all part of this priesthood there is not just a difference in degree there is a difference in function priests of the new testament not like the priests of old testament let us appreciate our priests sixth psychological symbolism lord supper symbolizes the death and resurrection of jesus the ancient passover was a memorial that celebrated freedom from slavery of the egyptian pharaohs jesus and his disciples celebrated the new passover as celebration of freedom from fear aggression and death like moses jesus is leading the people of god to a new exodus by his self immolation to the kingdom of unconditional love of the father where there is no violence and aggression intimidation and exploitation deprivation and discrimination and suppression of fundamental human rights meal in the desert was a celebration where all had a vital role to play all were in fact celebrants including women and children all had an active participation the role of the woman was indispensable in ancient cultures we can't think of a male without the active presence of a woman or women fear stricken humanity went to the extent of appeasing the gods by human sacrifice as attempted by abraham in the old testament later on animals were killed in substitution it was followed by the offerings of the vegetables in agricultural societies in the evolution of the human society the rituals also undergo an evolutionary process jesus offers in the holy meal a non bloody offering of himself for the redemption of the world from the forces of fear and death his sacrifice is unique as god himself is doing the sacrifice the cycle of the mentality of revenge is broken psychologically by means of identification with the divine person who has made the ultimate sacrifice for himself in the lord supper the aggressive human drives of killing another human being or animal are avoided to appease god and the aggressive drive of humanity is sublimated by identification 
with the divine person who has made the ultimate sacrifice for oneself let us cross our hands and say jesus our savior you washed your disciples feet as a sign of service and compassion show us how to live and love in service and with compassion